Good morning. So I am here to talk about winter skin today. Winter skin and a little share about my why and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So um, I decided not to put on any face makeup until we chatted about winter skin. So let me, you know, um, just kind of share a few things that, you know, sometimes people think, oh, night cream. I can only use it at night. Nope. Nope. Oh, serum. I should only use my serum at night. Nope. Mm-mm. Uh, new serum, by the way. Okay, a little sneak. Um, so, you know, one of the things that you've got to remember is that you've got to listen to your skin. Okay? Hey, I don't know who's on, but thanks for joining. Um, you got to listen to your skin. It's really important. You got to take a look at it. Now, with this weather, I mean, like next week, we are going to our low by, I think it's Wednesday, it's going to be 20 below. You know, you can't treat your skin the way you do when it's 75 degrees outside. That just is not working for your skin. So, a couple of things. Always mask and exfoliate at least once a week. You know, watch your skin. You want to get off all those dead cells because you want the wonderful products that you're putting on to get to where they need to be. So, I always mask once a week. I exfoliate at least once a week. Gentle exfoliation. You know, you don't have to scrub and irritate everything. If you have irritation, rose water is where you need to go. It's an anti-inflammatory and it just soothes the skin. And I use this twice a day. Now, I'm putting serum all over my face twice a day. And um, this is the new Uology and that's all, all I'm gonna say. That's for another live, but it's awesome. And then I'm doing the night cream twice a day with this weather. And, and say you don't go out. Say you don't go out. Okay, don't go out. Unless you have a great humidifier in your house, your house is dry. Are you getting shocks? Because I know I'm getting those little shocks. Um, and, you know, then you know your house is dry, right? And so you need to moisturize. You need to compensate for what your skin can't get naturally. So, um, and especially with this cold, and when you go in and out, in and out, it's just like the heat, in and out, in and out. It wreaks havoc with your skin. You can tell your hands. I, am, I must put lotion on my hands like, well, every time I wash them and in between because it is so dry and some of it is my age. Yes, 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 I know. Some of it is my age, but you still need to do it. Do you want nice looking hands? If you're 30 or 35, do you want nice looking hands when you're 65? You know, do you want your age to be given away by how your hands look? No, you do not. I guarantee you, you do not. And it will it will be the same way when, when you're, you know, 45 and 50. You need to moisturize. And if you take care of your hands and you take care of your feet, you should be taking care of your face and actually the rest of your body. So, okay, that being said, now with this crazy winter, I'm gonna show you the products I use on my face for makeup. Okay, this is our liquid foundation. Love this stuff, you've got to squeeze it, you got to shake it. Okay, and I'm right in between colors, I notice now, and that's probably why I'm looking a little tired. So we've got our BB Flawless. This is Honey, which is BB Flawless, is a tinted moisturizer with a lot of good stuff in it. And this is our Bisque. So I'm gonna use a combination of all three. Now you can't tell me, if you wear face makeup, that you don't have summer, and winter and you will use it there's no reason why you can't mix it there's no reason you can't do anything you need to do with this to get the color or the shade that you need to get now I like putting mine on with this brush a lot of people and I used to put it on with my puppy brush you know but I really like putting it on with this brush that's what I get the best coverage in. So let's just take a minute and do that. So, 
Okay, this is where my glasses come up. Oh, no, I can't see. So if you comment, I can't see. If you like what you're seeing, would you please share it? That would be so awesome. So. There. Three drops. Okay. No, you think you would have to like, oops. Got it on my nail. You'd think you would actually have to layer, layer it, but no, I don't. Because if you layered it, BB cream would go first. I'm going to see. Hi, Deborah. So I am going to put a little BB cream. This is honey. And then I'm going to put the other color bisque. Ah, that needs to be shaken. It's been a while since I've used that one. So let's try this again. There we go. So a couple of dots. So that's what it looks like. That's going to do my whole face and my neck a little bit. Now remember that this is mineral based. So give it an opportunity to warm up to your skin before you start blending in it. Now there's a couple of ways you can blend this in. You can use the beauty buds, but you got to use them wet. Or you can blend it in like this. And because I'm using both, I kind of follow up with my finger, actually. So I'm going to blend. And then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I do what I do. You know, I think a lot about it. And I think, you know, my why has changed. And it will continually change and evolve. But for the most part... I continue to do what I do when um, Unique came out with their skincare because my skin is super sensitive and I was just having terrible problems. And my girlfriend who is an esthetician was out of the country for a while and so I had to figure it out myself. And then Unique came with this wonderful skincare because I had tried so many. So many of them are harsh out there. They're filled with detergents and chemicals, which I can't use. And oh my gosh, it was just a nightmare. It was embarrassing. So I love skincare. I learn as much as I can about it. I am now a certified uologist, which is pretty darn cool, which means I know our products. I, I know... Um, <laughs> Skin, I'm not an esthetician. I won't pretend to be an esthetician. I won't tell you you should use this and you continue to have reactions and I'll, you know, I just won't. But I can share my knowledge and that's what I really like to do. I like to share my knowledge. I like to make other people feel good in their skin the way they should and help build confidence. You know, my schedule is flexible and I love it. You know, for any of you who have seen my posts, we're fostering a pit bull puppy. I was gonna call him a little pit bull puppy, but he's not, he's huge. Well, he's not huge. He's only 40 pounds. He's sleeping in the living room. He's got like a doggy daycare hangover. It's hilarious. I've never, ever, ever, in the three weeks we've had him, have I seen him like this. This is just, this is why I can be here right now because otherwise he'd be into everything because you know I don't have doors on things in my office so a lot of it is open I'll open shelving and stuff like that and he gets into everything it's like a two-year-old it's like I had to literally doggy proof my house and close doors and the ones I can't I had to move my pots and pans I had to move anything that he could stand up on his hind legs and look at because he would try and grab so you know, I can do this, I can do that because I'm doing this. I can help my daughter out because I'm doing this. I wanna make a little extra money and I just like it. It's good, it's fulfilling. It's, skincare is a passion of mine and I'm loving it. Uh, you know, I just can't say enough about, you know, loving what you, you have to. Life is short and you never know how short it is. And you have to, if at all possible, 
do something that you're passionate about, whether it's a side gig, because you have to work full time and make other money, or whether you can make your side gig a full time job. You know, if you don't, if you don't have that in your life, then you're missing something. I, I meet a lot of people that, you know, just kind of, you know, I was an executive at a couple of different corporations, a uh, vice president, and um, this is makeup and skincare is way outside of my realm, although I've always been interested in it. And I am telling you, you know, I get a little, hmm, you know, whatever. Oh, you know, it's direct sales, you know, um, um, negativity. There's negativity out there. I, don't, I, almost, I almost said what I normally would have said. Um, but, you know, I always feel, and, and there's been a lot, and, and not necessarily directed at me in the last couple of weeks, but at some friends of mine. And those people that want to take you a notch down are jealous of the life that you have. Not necessarily jealous of what you're doing, but of the life that you have. They can't have it, so they don't want you to be happy because you have it. And I've seen it a lot lately, and I feel really bad because, it, not that it never bothers me, but I have really grown in this business so that it doesn't bother me near as much or it doesn't bother me at all. I'm gonna have my bad days. I'm gonna have my days where it bothers me, and believe me, I've had those days but I'm going to tell you that it's not worth wasting your time or energy getting upset, angry, revengeful. Oh God, that would be awful. And, and the one reason, one of the reasons I like this company is I've met so many nice people and you know, they're not, you know, you're always going to have those people that are not as nice as others. Always. It's with anything that you do. But I'm going to say that I have met the nicest people ever. And I've teamed up with them. You know, they might not be on my direct team, but I've teamed up with them. And, and they're fantastic. You know, and they actually know who they are. And I just love them to death. And I can't wait to see them at a convention again. And for those who aren't doing what I'm doing anymore, are doing it as a side gig to keep the discount, they're pretty awesome too. And I think they know who they are also. So I have made just like fabulous, fabulous, kind friends. I mean, it's just that simple. So, okay, there we go. I'm going off on a tangent on my why, but now you understand what I do. I, why I do what I do. And that's today. Tomorrow it may change. You know, our lives change. And so therefore, maybe our whys change. But I didn't talk about lips. Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. After you brush your teeth, just put this on. I've already put it on once. Mm. It's so moisturizing, I can't stand it. And that's how you can wear your lip stains and your lipsticks, your liquid lipsticks. If you don't exfoliate and your lips are all dry and cracked, not even lip gloss is gonna look good. And if you've got a real problem with your lips, try the bonbons. They're pretty awesome. And I'll save that for another live. But you guys, again, if you like what you've seen, I'm looking for my glasses so I can hit my button. Um, if you like what you've seen, I would really, really appreciate a share. Let me know that you shared so I can thank you. And um, I hope you have a great day. I'm getting ready to go pick Jerry up at the airport. He's coming home. And I can hardly wait to see him. So have a great day. Be kind.